OZ Part 2. <clears throat> now, I left off here. Whoops, I need lights. Now, uh, this is uh, what was cleaned up after I got done, and I needed to edit a little bit. So I needed to add the sons from Solomon. Um, so if you're looking to take a screenshot, now's a good time to do it. Uh, and then uh, that was where I was telling you that they added uh, uh, his name in. So I added it back because, as you can see, sometimes they were ta it was our creator talking and sometimes it wasn't. Uh, notice the text here and text here. Um, I'm going to shorten up their names so they make it more easier. Um, and then I added the word but there. Now here is where I left off. And I'll blow this up and we can start it from here. <clears throat> now this text started reading kind of crazy because it says, say to your brothers and sisters, contend with your mother, for she is not my wife. Now, this is just right out of the blue. Okay? And I am not her husband, and let her put away her heraldry, heraldry from her face. Well, it's like this. And her adultery from between her breasts. Well, and I wouldn't use this. Now it becomes a two verse, okay? I will strip her naked and expose her on the day when she, like, like on the day when she was born, okay? I will make her like a wilderness, make her like a desert land, and slay her with thirst. Now we still don't know who we're talking about here, but this is not meeting the format. Okay, maybe it will be when it comes up later. <laughs> that was a little too quick because all of a sudden we start to see another two verse here. I'll make her like a wilderness. And so who the hell is this? I mean, how do you make somebody like a wilderness? I know our creator could do that, <laughs> but uh, we don't know who this is yet. And then he's going to slay her with thirst. Okay, so now we know that she's going to be dead. Okay. I will have no compassion on her children because they are children of harlotry. For their mother has played the harlot. She who convinced, conceived them has acted shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers who gave me bread and water, my wool and flax, my oil to drink, my oil and my drink. Um, let's just pick any one of them that don't make any sense here because we still don't know who she is. <laughs> Behold, I'll hedge up her way in, with thorns and build a wall against her that she cannot find her paths. Um, first of all, he's going to kill her in the desert and now he's um, making her lost. So she can't find her path. Curious. Uh, she will pursue her lovers, but she will not overtake them. I don't know why she would want to overtake them. So I think it would be to catch up to them. For what reason got me here. And she will seek them, but not find them. Okay, so I don't know how she's going to overtake them. And then she can't find them. Then she'll say, I will go back. Okay, she will seek them, but she will not find them. Okay. Now, then she will say, I will go back to my first husband, but better for me than now. Um, okay. For she does not know that I, it was I who uh, gave her grain and new wine and oil. Now, um, why did, <laughs> I have a hard time placing this. Um, our creator uh, lets us 
I have everything because everything is his. But it, w it wouldn't have been that he gave her the grain, new wine, and oil. And, lavished, and then he lavished her <laughs> with silver and gold, which was used for Bala. Now, Bala, uh, this is a, a god, okay? So why would our creator uh, give her silver and gold that was used for another god? Um, I will take back my grain at harvest time and my new wine in its season. So this means that... Um, Next year, <laughs> at harvest time, he's not going to allow her to have new wine in its season. And I'll take away my wool and my flax, giving her cover her nakedness. Okay. Um, I will uncover her lewdness in the sight of her lovers. Well, she couldn't catch up to them, okay? We just read that. And he said, make sure that that was not going to happen. And no one will rusk her out of my hand. I will put an end to her gaiety and feast. Okay, she now has feast of her own. Okay. Now her new moons and her holidays. So what is her that we're talking about here? I mean, um, this is just kind of stupidity here. Unless now we know who she is by saying by the new moons and holidays her uh, feast and her feast uh, assemblies. This would mean that now it's the female goddess, okay? Now, now I want to say this is where I ended, but now we have to go back up here and say, say to your brothers and sisters who contend with your goddess, for she is not my wife, it doesn't make sense, okay? If our creator is speaking, because he's going to act like he is speaking here through the text, I am not her husband, and I'll put away her harlotry. Well, the object of the female goddess is everybody can have sex with her. So it's not harlotry or, harlotry or adultery. And I'll strip her naked and expose her on the day she was born. She was, nobody actually knows when she was born except for our creator, and why would he strip her naked and expose her? I mean, um, what they do is they sit and meditate, and with their eyes closed, they're sitting in darkness, and um, they see uh, smoke, and then she rises up, or they say that she is, but uh, and then they have this sexual experience with her. So how can here strip her naked and expose her on the day when she was born? Makes no sense here. So what I'm saying here is that all this text about her is absolutely things that are made up that they have no under uh, have nothing to do with our Creator. He is he is literally he is. He is literally uh, sending them into captivity for this. In fact, that's who's editing your Bible today are these guys that are having this sex practice with her. Otherwise, they wouldn't put this text in here. I mean, they've got this text in here, and they're editing it today and cleaning up little words here and there. They're still adding verses to this verse and things like that. And to add verses, they would have to know about this practice and to be uh, encrypted and coding these things. So, I will destroy her vines and fig trees and the oasis of which her lovers have given me. Now, why would our creator say they have given her him, okay? Which he says, these are my wages, which my lovers have given. Oh, that's for her saying that. Um, and I will make a forest and beasts of the field devour them. The wages are going to be devoured by beasts. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, and the day of Bell, she sacred off. Uh, it doesn't matter. She is one of them. She would be uh, offering sacrifices to herself. Um, she adorned herself near her as you and followed after lovers. Now all of a sudden it's supposed to be like a real harlot. 
I will lure her and bring her into the wilderness, and I will speak kindly to her. Well, before he was going to send her into the desert, and he was going to make her die of thirst, and before that he was going to kill her um, some other way. But the object is, is um, I will give her vineyard, and then I'll sling her the days of her youth, and the days she came out of Egypt. Now she, now they say that now she is so old that she came up out of Egypt, which would mean that this is now about the goddess. Okay, and on that day you will call me, what, Ishish, Ishai, and no longer call me Baal. Uh, uh, this can't be our creator speaking, okay? On that day, declares Wybe, you will call me another name, okay? And then you'll no longer call me a, a god, okay? That's what this is. And, and remove the name of gods, uh, Bella's god. Her mouth will be mentioned in her reign no more. They'll make a covenant with him. With the beasts of the field and the sky and the creeping things on... <laughs> yeah. Nope. That text didn't make it. I'll abolish her with sword and land. I'll make them lie down in safety. Betroth her for me. I will betroth you to me forever. Now, why would he do that? He was going to kill her a couple times. Okay. I will be truth to you in faithfulness. Now she's going to be faithful to our creator. Yet she's a goddess. Oh. In that day I will respond to clear. I will respond to heaven and the earth. The earth will respond to the grain and the new wine. Okay, and they will respond to Jezreel. And I will sow her myself in the land. So he's going to sow herself. Sow her for himself in the land now we know all this is just made up crap it's actually coded words for uh, anyone who has sex with the female guys they would read this and they say oh they've been around since uh the manuscripts in the bible so that's what's going on here and then there are going to be a people and then they're going to say he's a creator no so what we've got there in two is nothing, okay? Um, now, then why have you said to me, go love a woman? Like, go again, love a woman who has a love for her husband, yet is an adulteress. Even as why he loves the son of Israel, though they turn to other gods and love raisin cakes. <laughs> okay, so I bought... Now here it's a three verse, but I can make it a, or a two verse, but now it's a three verse, because here's a three verse. So I brought her for myself for 15 silver and, home, and a homer and a half of barley. He said to her, you will stay with me for many days. You will not play the harlot, okay? nor will you have a male, so I will be towards you. Um, this seems to be coded words, but the object is, is let's see if there's a prophecy, because this, our, our creator is saying, go love a woman, which means marry, okay? Go again and love a woman. Um, it doesn't really say Mary, but uh, this is the intent of the word because it is again, and you know he was having children uh, from a harlot again. Um, so, so this wouldn't be absolutely truthful, but it could be on this time around. For the sons of Israel will remain many days without a king or a prince, without sacrifice or or sacred pillar, without an ephod or a household idol. Now, what is an ephod? Okay, an ephod is the jewelry or the the making up of holding the two tablets. Um, two, there are two plates that are engraved with the twelve names for the tribes of Israel. And this was what the high priest wore. And the thing here is, is 
What do you mean without ephod or household idols? Um, did they? Why would they be wearing uh, this? Uh, even if they faked and made up a bunch of breastplates of the twelve uh, tribes for Israel, what does this have the a big meaning for? And then I'd have to get rid of. Uh, then the sons of the descendants from Israel will return and seek their creator and David their king. Now we know this is talking gibberish because David's long been dead. Okay. And they will come out trembling to the goodness of the last days. Okay. Nothing. Now we're going to start a new prophecy. So there was nothing here that we found that was worth anything. Um, so this one is out. Now let's go see, and I would correct this as being a, a, a prophecy from YV. Listen to the prophecy of YV, uh, the descend, descendants from Israel, where YV has a case against the, now these would be um, the foreigners in your land. Because there is no faithfulness or kindness or knowledge of their creator in the land. Now, yes, I could straighten that out. Uh, let's keep going to see what's going on here. Because there is no faithfulness or kindness or knowledge of their creator in the land. And then there's swearing, deception, murder, stealing, adult, adultery. They employ violence, so bloodshed follows violence. So this would be out anyway. There's nothing here to look at. You can't really. Uh, because there is no faith loss or kindness or knowledge. Of the crater and land in their land. Yet there is, I guess, this could go with this here if I needed it. Okay. They employ violence, so bloodshed follows bloodshed. The land mourns, and everyone who lives in it languishes along. The land can't mourn, so we know that this is not truthful. Everyone in it. Uh, so this would be true. Feast of the fields, birds of the sky, the fish of the sea will all disappear. Well, we know that's not true. Um, we have good seafood here in Florida today. Uh, yet there will no, yet no one find fault and let everyone, and let not offer reproof for your people. If I was to pick a verse that has to go, it would be this one. Uh, let no one find fault like those who contend with the priests. So you will stumble by daylight and the prophet will stumble by night. Um, and I will destroy your mother and your people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected I would put here my knowledge, our Creator's knowledge. I will reject you from being my priest. Now, all of a sudden, he's directing it to somebody who's supposed to be a priest because they all can't be priests, okay? But it's not making sense. I'll destroy your mother. Um, but if I was to get rid of a verse, I would get rid of that one. My people are destroyed for... Um, anyways... Since you have forgotten, since being my priest, since you have forgotten the laws from our Creator, I will forget your children. So, the more they multiply, the more they sin against me. I will change their glory into shame. They will feed on sin of my people. You can't feed on sin. Sin is not obeying the Twelve Commandments. 
But right now we don't know who this is or what they're talking what he's talking about. Direct the desire towards the inequity of the people like a priest. Punish them in their ways, repair them for their deeds. Well, the only thing is, is above we found out that, uh, uh, but it wasn't true, but he's going to kill everybody and kill the fish off as well. And every beast of the field. Um, and it wouldn't be deeds, it would be sins. Because once you sin against our creator, that means you're following um, another God and you're not onto him or even paying attention to the 12 commandments. But you needed to be forgiven of your sin to enter into or to stay in um, the nations for our creator. Uh, so this is just wrong. And you will eat but not have enough. You will play the harlot but not increase because they have stopped heed, giving heed to YV. Their har harlotry wine and new wine will be taken away. The understanding of my people is to consult with their wooden idol, yet their diviners wand informs them. So this is was added because this one <laughs> they couldn't get around. Uh, the spirit of harlotry has led them astray and they have played the harlot. Pretty much that's what's been being said over and over. Um, departing from their creator, they offer sacrifices to who? It wouldn't be departing from their creator. It would be to their creator they are off to their, um, it would be to their creator they offer sacrifices on the top of the hills and then they burn incense on the rooftops okay because there's no mountains in Israel um, under the oak poplar oh these are trees under oak poplar and I don't know what kind of tree this is uh, because of the shade is pleasant that's why they offer the sacrifices there. It isn't because it's pleasant. <laughs> um, now your daughters play the harlot and your brides commit adultery. I will not punish your daughters when they play the harlot or your bride when they commit adultery. For their men themselves go apart with harlots and sacrifice with temple prostitutes. Um, people understand are defiled though though you Israel um, play the harlot do not let Judah become guilty let's see where that's at okay do not go to Gilgal or here and then take up an oath as why he lives since Israel is stubborn like a stubborn heifer, how can I now pasture them? It would be I, um, them like a lamb in a large field. Uh, no, this is, Ephraim has joined two idols. They play the harlot continually because I don't need this. I'm, I was looking for a verse uh, because this is a four verse. I, I had these left. And these made a four verse when I removed them. But object, uh, okay, now we're going to go into another prophecy. Hear this, ye priest. But nothing here. When you've seen our creator, or when you've read, uh, like the cleanup that I've done up above, you, you see that um, our creator uh, distinctly sets out with a message. And then his message is, of prophecy of literally uh, saying this is what's going to happen and then I'm going to send you into captivity I see no um, understand or no nothing written in, in here like that so let's go on to this one here uh, hear this priest give heed house of Israel or descendants of Israel listen 
uh, the sentence of the king, uh, for the judgment applies to you. Okay. You have been a snare at Mespa. Now, Mespa is a small little town at the time of Jesus, and it's between Jerusalem and on his way to uh, Beth no, um, I can't think of the two cities. Let me see here. I need to go find um, because I don't think they actually okay. This is going to be towards the end. Oh, I had to redo them. I had an error. That's what's going on here. Oh, this is too early. I need it at when he goes into Jerusalem. Where am I at here? Oh. Okay, let me blow this one up. It's on here. It's a it's one of the maps I will be putting out. Beth Page is what I was trying to think of. Okay, now when in the um Four Gospels, it speaks about Jesus being here in Jericho, and then he goes to the, another small little town, and they named it this, and then Bethany, and then Bethpage. Okay, so this is the, this is the area that we're talking about, which is in Judah and not Israel, okay? And I pointed out uh, the fact that this is not about um uh it's about israel that's being taken away we've got a lot of things about jezreel and at that time so um see this can't be about here to here and this here i don't know where that is i, I don't think you can find that um but i will chast chastise all of them I know M from and Israel is not hidden from me. Of course, none of them, nobody is. No, M from you have played the harlot. Israel has defied itself. The deeds are not allowing them to return to their creator. The spirit of harlotry is with, with them. They do not know why they, they do not know me. Um, the pride of Israel testifies against himself. Israel and from Israelis through him from stumble. Let me see if that's true. That's um, no. I'm just. I just remembered. Um, West East Manessa was overthrown first, and because they were making the idols, so it had to be their brothers, which would be the uh, West Manessa. Not Ephraim that was doing this, because I know that one tribe kept saying there was a warning that they shouldn't be doing this. <clears throat> so, this name would have to be changed. Stumbled in their iniquity or in their sins, Judah has stumbled within them. And okay, now now all of a sudden we're talking about Judah. Now this would not be in, for a couple hundred years later. So, to seek why me, they will not find him. To seek me, they will not find him. I have withdrawn from them. They have dealt treacherous against me. 
for they have born a legitimate child. Now the new moon will devour them in the, within their land. Now we know that that's not true. Uh, these, um, th those cities are pretty much on the west side of, uh, or the east side of the Jordan River. Um, sound the alarm, don't know where this is at. Behind you, Jew Benjamin. Now, uh, that doesn't make any sense. Um, now, there was a story that uh, about a battle that was set up between Jehoshaphat and Jeroboam, where Jeroboam sent people um, behind to uh, come in from the backside of those that had come to the, uh, free uh, the uh, Israeli people in the nation of uh, Israel. Um, that was in Bethel, and they were going to, when they blew the horn. All of a sudden, they came up from behind them, but they defeated them. But this is this is the only thing I can say of look behind you, Benjamin. Ephraim become a desolation, the day of a rebuke. Times the true, well, I declare that is is sure. This would have to be the kings of Israel, like those moving boundaries. I will pour out my wrath. Well, like water, well, this here is not needed. Infamous press, crushed in judgment. It's actually, these guys will be crushed by my judgment because they determined to follow mankind's command. Uh, I am a moth. Now this, our, I can't see our creator saying he is, okay? So this, I'm pretty sure our creator never said. He would not consider himself an earthly object or being the rottenness to the house of Judah. Um, so on sick as Judah was wounded. See, this is, Ephraim went to Assyria and sent to, no, this means he went to Assyria and sent to the king, but he was unable. Now this would never have been true you can't have one tribe acting without the other tribes to do something. Uh, and there is no story that I know of that um, they went and seeked help from the guys that were coming down to capture them and overtaking them. Now I know that they were trying to be paid off once by a king, but that didn't work. Um, they took the money, then they come back with more, and they took them away captives. So... That's one way of looting the uh, kingdom or the nation of Israel. Uh, unable to heal you or your, cure, your, cure your wound. This wound, what, what is it that they're talking about? Well, this is, this would have to be um, the wound that our creator is gonna give them. Um, this, uh, when they go to Assyria in captivity, but the text doesn't lead us that way. I'm just saying what the text here is saying, what it would relate to, and it doesn't. For I would be like a lion to, into the house of Judah. But the, we're talking about Israel, not Judah. Even I'll tear him to pieces and go away. I will carry it. Our Creator is not going to carry away. He's going to send them away. This word needs to be changed to send them away, and there'll be none to deliver them. I will go away and return to my place? I don't think so. This is just not truthful. The knowledge of their guilt, I seek my space in their affliction. They will earnestly seek me. Now, out of that whole prophecy, what'd you learn? Nothing, nothing. Um, he, he, it 
talks about sometimes being carried away. And then he's going to return to the place until they acknowledge their guilt. No, he's going to leave, he's killing them off, the, rem the remnant and the ones that are going into captivity are supposed to be the ones that didn't go doing all the evil things, okay? Um, they were just becoming wishy-washy people, not saying there is a creator. But once they heard the prophecy and then it taken away, yes, um, you can't consider Daniel, um, well, I guess going to Syria, I guess that's later, that's a couple hundred years later, so that's not, I mentioned that wrong. But the object is, is, and then they'll seek his face in their affliction. They will seek, earnestly seek me. Okay. Well, this, this might be true. Uh, this, like I said, it needs to be corrected. I'm truly trying to see if there are the check, the text can be changed a lot to mean it. But this, this would not be there. And they didn't have a trumpet, so it would be blowing the horn. Anyways, they didn't make trumpets, they had ram's horn that clearly is loud enough to make a sound and now then this would have never been true I don't see any of this worth saving I really don't we don't have enough of who he's directly speaking to. I would have to change the things to almost like Ephraim to Israel. But when you have something like this, you'd have to change this to like kings of Israel. Now you kings have played the harlot. Because remember, any of the priests that are in um, the nation Israel, they are actually pagan uh, priests. The pride of Israel will testify against them. But that doesn't... Yeah, I don't see anything here that we don't already have covered because I I don't know how many of these that you have followed me through. I think I've done like seven of them already. And here, the thing here is, is you would see when they're cleaned up, there's more definitive text uh, saying you did this. It's pretty much about female goddess and going away and having, now you're uh, abandoning our creator. And then he tells them about the day that they're going to be carried into captivity. Now, there would be other ones that he comes and says the same thing, uh, telling them to repent. And a lot, some of them were even saying, um, replying that even Jesus, when he comes, he's still going to come to Jerusalem. So this text I don't see as being truthful or having that uh, same likeness as before. And this one also does not uh, enter or start off like any of the other uh, prophecies. So gone, just like that. Not much left here. I mean, getting rid of quite a bit. Can't find... 
here it starts off. This is not a prophecy. This is a, these are, come let us return to YV for he has torn us. He has not, um, <clears throat> our creator didn't tear them, but he will heal us. He has wounded us, but he will bandage us and revive us after two days. Okay, and the third day, no, no. Um, let us now press on. No way, he's going forth certain as the dawn. Oh, yeah, now our creator is just as certain about as the dawn. Uh, he will come to us like spring rain. I don't think so. Um, what do I from? What do with you, Judah? You're up to us like a morning cloud, like the dew, which. Well, it's really like the fog in the morning, which goes away early. Oh. I have hewed them into pieces by the prophet. He did not kill them by the word of a prophet, by saying such as these. And... Delight and loyalty, like it, in obedience, um, rather than sacrifice, as the creator, rather than burnt offerings. Burnt offerings are what is referred to is after they made an offering, that after they're burned up, these are burnt offerings. In other words, made into dust and then blown away to mean forgiven. And not rememberable. Um, like Adam, they had turned, okay, there was no covenant at the time of Adam. It started with Abraham. And then City of Wrongdoers. Uh, tracked with bloody footprints. But, uh, the Raiders wait for a male and the band of priests. So a band of priests murder on the way to Shisha. Okay, the priest it has to be were murdered on the way to Shisha. Um, sure, they have committed a crime in the house of Israel. I've seen horrible things. Infant is harlotry is there. Israel is defiled itself. Judah is the harvest appointed for you. I will restore the fortunes of my people. Nope, this one's gone too. This is just text. I don't think we've got much at all. I think we only have the first one. That's odd. Usually we I start finding text that is, I can say, yes, this is what happened. The story is true. Um, and then I can almost pinpoint it in the timeline. When I would heal Israel, for the sins of Israel was uncovered, the evil deeds of Samaria, for they dealt falsely. Thief enters the man of trade, it's their heart to remember the world. All their deeds are all around them, they are before my face. They're their work with us, they make the king glad, and the princes are happy or with, with their lies. They are all adulterers. Like an oven heated by a baker who increases to stir up a fire. Although I have no idea what <laughs> what this is in relationship to this. Okay. Um, from the kneading of the dough until it is unleavened. So this is just... <laughs> but it breaks into uh, the format, which means the writer knew exactly what he wanted to write and at what time. Day of your of our kings and princes became sick in the heat, with the heat of wine, um, and stretches out his hand with scuffing. He stretched out. That would mean our creator, and he would be speaking. Now he's speaking in third person. They approach their plotting, and anger smote all night. In the morning, it burns like a flame, and it, like hot like an oven. They consume their rulers, and all their kings have fallen. There wasn't a time 
for that because I'm looking for text right now to say I should start working it and then then I'm not <laughs> and from has become like a cake not turned okay strangers devoured his strength and he did not know it yet he also knew it because they went and, I mean if you've been paying attention to all the texts that I've turned it was well aware that Ephraim was doing what it was doing what they were doing so it does not know he he does know this would not be there gray hairs are sprinkled on him and he does not know it I don't know how that happens <laughs> through the pride of Israel testify against him um, now all of a sudden Israel is the big good guys Because this has to be the kingdom, or the nation Israel. They have neither returned to either their creator, nor have they sought him for all of this. So Ephraim has become like a silly dove. Without sense they call to Egypt, they go to Assyria. Now see, here again there's this, this event, I don't see that. And we're recalling it as something special or something of note. Um, when, when they go, I will spread my net over them. Now it's kind of like when they go to Assyria. And I'll bring them down like the birds of the sky. Well, he's already demolished them, and he actually wants the remnant alive. So when they go, I'll spread my net over them and bring them down. This is absolutely not truthful. That is definitely not truthful. Would redeem them, but they speak lies against me and not cry for me from the hurt when they wail in their bed. For the sake of grain and new wine, they they complain that, oh, I needed more wine, I needed more food. Oh, yeah, right. They assemble themselves and turn away from me. Though I trained and strengthened their arms, yet they devised evil against me. Hmm. They, how can you devise evil against our creator? You just can't do that. The princess will fall by the sword. Okay, again, there's nothing here but somebody talking about uh, something, about something. <laughs> That's about all I can come up with. There's nothing here in this one either. This is getting to be stupid here okay now let's see eight I, don't know, I think there's 14 chapters these all can't be that bad let the trump to your lips put the trumpet to your lips like an eagle <laughs> well like an eagle they will come against the house of Wiley. Now this would be in Jerusalem's time, and this is, doesn't happen at any of the time that they're talking here, or what we found at the very beginning. I guess this is why they had to use the uh, King Ezekiel, Ezekiel, something like that. Ezekiel, Ezekiel. Anyways, that's why they had to use them, because they know that the text has this uh, about the ending of Judah in here. And that can't happen. They were all good good up until the very end, um, or the last hundred years. Because they have transcended the rebel councils. And it's against his commandments, not just law. Let's see, now it's all of a sudden coming back to him. We have Israel. No, you, Israel has rejected. Yeah, this is not the kingdom or the nation of Judah. It just switched back and forth. They have set up kings, but not for me. They have appointed princes. But, I, but I'm the one who did this. But I did not know it. Uh, well, they have appointed princes, but I did not know it. 
how does our creator not know everything? I don't get, um, like I said, the ones that are editing this text and don't believe our creator have no idea how our creator um, is understood as everything that is out here is his. Every grain on every planet, star in the universe is his. I mean, think of a being who's been around hundreds of billions of trillions of years. He couldn't do this? <laughs> I mean, think about that. That's it. That just doesn't make any sense. But when I say everything is his, and he's uh, truly in our understanding of time, yes, he could do this. I mean, that's just um, the awesome of a title of he created, a creator. He creates. He created, okay? Um, he knows all, knows everything. Um, they appointed princes, and I did not know, and I still think that's funny. <laughs> and their silver and gold, they have made idols for themselves. They will be cut off. He has rejected your... See, all of a sudden, the third person he's speaking, I have rejected your uh, calf, Samara, um, saying my anger burns against them. How long will be incapable of innocence? From Israel, even its craftsman was made. It is not a creator. The calf of Samaria was broken into pieces. Um, for they sow the wind and they reap the will. Yeah, they can do that. Yep, they can really do that. The standing grain has no heads. It yields no grain. Well, I don't think so. Wheat is wheat. Um... It would have to be that there was a, a famine or a drought, a drought that would uh, not allow it even to grow up. And we didn't see that in there. Israel swallowed up, they're now among the kingdoms. Like a vessel, well, it's like a clay pot, which has no one's delight. Uh, they have gone up to is Assyria all alone. Now this is like past tense, okay? Uh, but here again, now it's back here, they exist. And yes, they're still existing here. So they will go up to Assyria. This is not, not gone, they will go up. Um, Though I wrote for him 10,000 laws. No, our creator knows he didn't write that many. That's just stupid. They regard as a strange thing as for my sacrifice, sacrificial gifts. Uh, sacrifice and then eat it. And flesh here is referring to the muscles or... Um, why he has taken no delight in them, speaking in third person again, and then third person again, unless this is someone now speaking against or against them. Um, they will return to Egypt for Israel. Well, they would have flew, if Israel, if they left, they wouldn't have went into Egypt. They just would have went into Judah. Built the high places, Judah multiplied the fortified cities. I will send fire on their cities and consume their platitil dwellings. Wow. I think we could just get rid of that word and consume their dwellings. Um, but I don't see anything here that we don't already have. In fact, it just more nonsense like what I'm taking out. Or saying it doesn't, we don't need it. Now we're on to nine, and it doesn't start out that this is a prophecy. Every threshing floor and the wine press, there it is. Those mean our creator's not like, not worried about 
that. This from all return to Egypt never happened. Matt to him now all of a sudden it's back into that third person speak unless somebody's just writing this text like mourners bread all who eat it will be defiled like mourners bread what the hell now I'm sure there will be a recipe on YouTube about that <laughs> but uh, oh, the crap that's put on there and for a uh, themselves will not enter the housework or why uh, nobody enters the house uh, that was definitely for very few of the priests anyway what will you do on the day of appointed festival festival um, actually it was a celebration or told her our creator told him and actually right now while I'm doing this video um, there's actually nine days in a row is uh, the last day of the last year was fell on the first and then the new year started and then we're in the celebrating time those eight days so it's not a festival it is a uh, um, we're celebrating that he passed over our firstborn sons at that time uh, the Israelis, firstborn sons. On that day of the feast, of, and it's a feast of YV, it's a celebration uh, with YV, because it's a holy day. You're supposed to be with our Creator on these days. For they will go because of the destruction. Egypt will gather them up. Memphis will bury them. Uh, Memphis is actually, today is known as Cairo. Uh, they also had... Um, it was Memphis, and it was also on O N. There's uh, uh, another place in the Bible which calls like a different king came in and renamed it. Um, it might have been after the destruction that our Creator done is the difference uh, to Egypt. Weeds will take over the treasure. Weeds will take over the treasures of silver. Thorns will be in their tent. The days for retribution have come. A prophet is a fool. Never. Never, never, never. Couldn't because of the grossness of your sins. No. Now all of a sudden, Ephraim was a watchman. And the Ephraim became like a prophet. Yet a prophet is one who uh, has a vision or is giving the words from our Creator to go tell the people a prophecy. So this is not truthful. Uh, the snare of the bird catcher is in all his ways. I don't know what that says. And there is only hostility in the house for, for his Creator. Um... Uh, it would be in the temple for his creator, but then it's not my, it would be their creator with, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to correct all that to mean it for what they are saying. He will remember their iniquity and punish their sin. Um, these are both the same. So you can't call one a different. Like I said, you don't want to use two different words to mean the same thing. Yeah, but this would be third person or someone talking about, and then all of a sudden they're using, I found Israel like grapevine in the wilderness. Uh, saw your forefathers as early as fruit. I don't think so. It was part of his promise through Abraham, so this is nothing. Uh, let's see here. I'm just going to skip down here. And for most like a planted pleasant meadow like Tyra. Now this is up in up in by my Mount Carmel which is like a hundred miles north 
Out of my house? I don't think so. Okay, none of this is true neither. This is just babbling on about nothing. I mean, go look at the other uh, prophets and see how the, actually the text falls to be very truthful. Lord, I can see this already. I don't see this starting out as a prophecy. Now they're like poison, poisonous weeds, like in the furlough of the fields. For its glory. Now all this thing here is, is about uh, the adultery priests are worried about and crying over. But what is their glory? Why would you even consider uh, their God as a glory for them? Um, uh, under the words glory for the righteous, it is that our glory is that we can speak of our creator. That's what our glory is about. So I don't know how it is over its glory. Okay. You know, I do know, but I'm not going to sit here and start telling you all the trickery words used uh, and what they mean. Well, the, th the thing itself will be carried to Assyria. The thing itself. Okay. Thorns, will, thorns and thistles will go around the altars. Yet before, we know the altars are we're going to be all destroyed and tear, tore down. Not that they're going to grow, be abandoned. Um... There is no mountains in Israel. Now they're talking about the stand in battle against the sons overtake them. I don't know where this place is at and don't really care. Well, they have a double guilt. Guilt has nothing to do with sin. They aren't guilty. They have to repent. Um, this is not true until later, a couple hundred years later. I'm not seeing anything here again in this one either. So this one is going to be removed. And I've got up to that hour point here. I don't think there's anything that's been cleaned up yet here. Let me bring this down like this. And I just want to move the scroll bar to see if we had any text here at all that we saved or I saved. Yeah, there's nothing here except for the very beginning. And this was after I cleaned it up that I showed you from the first video. So I'm going to probably come go back down to where I left off and start uh, the next video, which will be video three or part three.